PSP and CBD are two misunderstood neurological conditions. Life expectancy is on average just seven years, yet it takes approximately three years to get diagnosed. PSPA is a charity that supports people living with these conditions and works to raise awareness in the medical community and beyond. Walking up to four miles a day has become vital therapy for Bruce to help him maintain his strength and mobility, which have become affected by a rare neurological condition called corticobasal degeneration, or CBD. Not so long ago, Bruce was an active, sporty graphic designer. He and his wife, Neda, enjoyed a busy life with their two young children. Then worrying symptoms began to appear. Difficulty speaking and writing, social anxiety, apathy, balance problems, and rigidity in one arm. Bruce underwent many years of tests and incorrect lines of investigation before he received the devastating diagnosis of CBD. It's been a long journey, five years. Very frustrating. I can write uh, and speak um, so well. One of the dow big downsides to this five-year delay is that had we realised that physical therapy, speech therapy, physical activity, exercise, walking, all of these things would be so beneficial. He would very much have aggressively pursued that because he was so physically active. The system doesn't kick in unless you have a diagnosis. And even funding, you know, uh, all sorts of things don't kick in. So that's a really critical and important piece about getting an earlier diagnosis. Identifying the exact brain disorder is complex, but doctors need to be more aware of the specific symptoms of CBD and of the related condition PSP, says consultant neurologist Dr. Boyd Gosch, who also wants to see statutory guidelines for these diseases. So uh, progressive supranuclear palsy, which is PSP, and corticobasal degeneration, which is CBD, are sister diseases, really. They both have similar pathology in the brain with tau protein. They present similarly to Parkinson's disease in some ways in that they're quite slow, people move quite slowly, and they're quite unstable. And they have difficulty with dexterity. And they present slightly differently in that CBD is often one-sided, and so like Bruce, they may have difficulty moving one side more than the other. Uh, with PSP, it's both sides and often they fall and they have difficulty moving their eyes. Research looking into the best ways to care for people, to provide them the best quality of life in their, in their years, and both for them and for their family, would be really beneficial and establish that statutory guidance with NICE and the NHS. The diagnosis of CBD marked the end of one journey for Bruce and Nedda, but the start of another, learning to live with a degenerative condition that has no cure, no treatment, and needs much more awareness. Raising awareness and supporting those living with CBD and PSP is the charity PSPA, which offers a helpline, care navigators, support groups, financial guidance and voice banking services. But delayed diagnosis means many patients and their families miss out. Late diagnosis is really common. It takes an average three years to get diagnosed with PSP or CBD. And in our last survey in 2022, it showed that 60% of people are misdiagnosed in the first instance. This has an impact on your family's ability to manage the condition and manage that emotional impact, but also on getting the right clinical support, getting referrals to speech and language therapists, to physios, and your access to financial help as well from a simple thing like a blue badge so that you can get out and about through to carers allowance, continuing healthcare funding, all of those things. With no diagnosis, you can't access any of those. Dad, I found, I found this picture that you drew of yourself. Bruce's daughter, Leela, patiently helps her ailing father. His CBD impacts the whole family. His delayed diagnosis 
means it's too late for him to take part in clinical trials, but the family do have hope that investment in research might one day lead to better diagnostic tools and to treatments to slow the progression of this cruel disease.